All these customizations are super easy to apply on your Galaxy phone. All you need is Samsung's Good Lock installed. You can get it for free on the Galaxy Store. And if you can't find it, I've done a video. It's on the top right corner of the, you know, you can just click on the card and learn how you can get it on your phone. Now, before we move on, I'm trying to reach 200,000 subscribers. It'll be great if you could drop a like, hit that subscribe button and that bell icon. And now let's move on with the video and talk about my favorite Good Lock settings to apply on a Galaxy phone. And the first one is you can semi-slide your notification to open it up in a notification pop-up window. So you can react to your notifications without leaving the app that you're on. And once you're done, just close it. You can do this for some apps and you can figure that out as and when you use this feature. To enable this, go into Good Lock, go into Quick Star and then open notification pop-up window. Enable this setting and you're all set. Next one, if you look at my recent apps menu, it's a lot more thumb friendly. It's at the bottom of the screen, which makes it easier for me to access. Go into Good Lock Task Changer and then apply mini mode. This would only work if you have your layout type set to a carousal. So make sure that it's set to that. Next, a lot of times you may find yourself in a situation where you want to switch to your previous app and then come back on your current app. For example, you're talking to someone on WhatsApp and working on email. Well, you can do that with a simple slide at the bottom edge of your screen. To enable this, you have to go into Good Lock Task Changer and there is a setting called Switch to Previous App with Gestures. It's turned off by default, you can turn it on. For this to work, you have to ensure that your navigation bar is set to full screen gestures with gesture hints turned on. Otherwise, this won't work. Did you know that you can pretty much operate your windows in a way that you do on your computer? So you can have multiple apps open and they could keep floating on your screen and you can use them simultaneously. You can reposition them and you can, you know, increase or decrease the width or the height. You can reduce them down to just pop-ups which would continue to be on your screen and you can then launch them real quick. Now to do this, go into Good Lock and then scroll down to Multistar you have to enable this feature. It's called pop-up view action. Just make sure that's enabled. And then you can set pop-up gesture size. You know the activation area on the diagonals of your phone? That's where you trigger that resizing. This next one has to do with customizing your notification panel, which may not be as much of a value add, but it definitely looks good on your phone. And you can really just go crazy with the kind of colors that can be applied. Go into Quick Star. And there are a lot of these presets that you can just click and apply. But if you want more customization, you can long press on any of these and then tap on edit. And now you can set your own background color, enabled color, disabled color, the color of the text and of the notification uh, that comes to your phone. And you can even set the transparency of your notification tray. The next setting is also a visual enhancement. See, the regular clock styles that you get in the stock uh, phone are very few. But these ones, the ones that you see on the screen right now, are not available. That's when you go into clock phase in Good Lock. And you get access to a whole new bunch of you know, clock styles for your lock screen, as well as your always on display. And if you look at this list, it's really good looking. I mean, they're just different, they're new, and you know, they're not boring. And you can obviously give them a color uh, as you can do for your normal clocks on the lock screen and the always on display. So choose, you know, whether you want to apply on always on display and then tap this last icon. And now you can go and apply any of these. The one that's interesting is this enter text, which you can actually use as a reminder to show on always on display. So you can pretty much type anything that you want in one line or in even two lines. It's totally up to you. And you know, it's always there as a reminder for you. And the last one has to do with adding more apps on your lock screen as much as six. So if you go into lock star and then into items, tap on shortcuts and it changes to multiple. And now you can tap on this icon over here to get access to six spots that you can fill with apps that you use the most. And you can have, you know, your favorite apps appear on the lock screen and then you can get quick access. So you don't have to unlock your phone and then go into, you know, the app drawer. You can just access them on your lock screen. 
So the next time you turn on your lock screen, all you have to do is tap on this icon over here and you get access to your six favorite apps. And that's pretty much it guys. I hope you enjoyed watching the video. If you've got any questions, feel free to comment them in the section below. As always, don't forget to subscribe and hit that bell icon. I'll see you in the next one.